What's up, everybody? It's Bobby93 Math Boy. Today is July 23rd, and I just thought I'd inform you guys that earlier today, Apple released the new version of its Final Cut Studio application suite and its Logic Studio suite. Now, Final Cut Studio is obviously the high end. Uh, collection of their video editing and movie making software and Logic Studio is their high-end collection of music making uh, applications so both of these are very well used like in the big industries like Final Cut is used very frequently in Hollywood to make the big time movies and Logic is also very well used in uh, the music industry to make all professional music like the artists that we hear on iTunes and stuff like that most of them use Logic Studio and the movies we see in the theaters most of them are used by Final Cut so today Apple released their new versions of both of these softwares which means lots more feature features easier to use and just a much better user experience overall so I'm gonna be going over a little bit of what comes in both of these and I'm gonna be showing you guys what you're gonna get how much it's gonna cost stuff like that I'm probably gonna end up getting the Final Cut Studio one probably not buying it but I'm going to end up getting it I don't know about logic cuz I never really make music but as you guys know I do make movies so I'm gonna go over logic and then I'll finish it on Final Cut so in the new Logic Studio, they added four, uh, there's four main key points of it. There's flex time, production tools, guitar gear, li and live performance. Now in the flex time category, it's just different features that allow you to edit the song and it's uh, just pretty quickly and creatively as it says right here. So you can edit uh, drum tracks, audio, quantize, just stuff like that. I don't really know what any of it is, but they added it or fixed it production tools you can um, expand take folder editing selective track import drum replacer convert it to a sample track just stuff that makes it uh, easier and quicker to use guitar gear they've added a lot of accessibility to people who want to make their own music with guitars so they added more amps uh, build your own amp rig or whatever pedal boards you can add tons of uh, amp um, sounds already pre-made and live performance, they've uh, enabled like playback, loopback, uh, multi mapping of controls, group controls, stuff like that. So they just added these four main things, or fixed them, or edited them, whatever you want to say. And it looks like it's going to be very good. I don't really use, I haven't used any logic before, so I don't really know if this is like going to be a huge improvement. But it looks cool. So if you're gonna buy this, it's pro it's gonna run you about. Hold up, let me let it load. It's gonna run you about five hundred dollars, and there's free shipping. It'll ship within twenty four hours. Uh, it's gonna add, yeah, as you guys see, it just gives you all this information. You can get some more images if you want to take a look at all this stuff. It's just pretty much a really hyped up Garage Band. So. I don't really I wouldn't really use it. I'm not sure if you will. If you would like to buy this new Logic Studio, why don't you leave a comment in the description telling me why or er, telling us why you want to use it and stuff like that. So this is the new Logic Studio. Now on to Final Cut. So in the Final Cut Studio bundle, it's gonna come with Final Cut Pro 7, Motion 4, Soundtrack Pro 3, Color 1.5, and Compressor 3.5. Now I view I have Final Cut Pro on my home computer, which is the 24-inch iMac, and I have Final Cut Express on my computer. And basically, with Final Cut Pro, or the only applications that I would use out of all this suite would be Final Cut Pro in Motion 4. So um, I'm just gonna go over those a little bit. But basically, what's new in Final Cut Pro itself, or this is all, sorry, this is the entire studio. Uh, in Final Cut Pro, they've added Easy Export, oh, iChat Theater support, which is nice, so you can collaborate with somebody who's not at your house or wherever your computer is, so that's nice. Um, they've added some new transitions, improved markers, new speed, stuff like that, automatic transfer, new timecode window, uh, just all this main, all this interesting stuff. They've added multi-touch gesture support, which is kind of cool. Um, 
display SD safe title A and HD. I don't really know what a lot of these are. I'm not really into the in-depth Final Cut core, but I know the basics of it, and it looks pretty neat. Motion 4, they've added 3D shadows, a lot of 3D stuff like depth of field, which is going to be nice, so you're going to have some options to do 3D animations. Parameter linkings, that's nice. Credit rolls. I'm just going over this real quickly to give you guys an overview, let you guys know what's up, and I'll put the links to the home page where you can find the links to both of these pages and check them out for yourself. Again, uh, multi-touch gestures, uh, support for 3D conics on Space Navigator, whatever that is. Soundtrack Pro, they've added uh, advanced time stretch, just basically giving it a better, better editor, making it faster in navigation stuff like that more shortcuts color 1.5 they've added more colors I believe uh, seamless round tripping with Final Cut Pro a lot more integration all these applications in this Final Cut Studio work better together compressor 3.5 allows you to burn blu-ray discs versus and normal discs a lot quicker uh, faster frame control rendering just a bunch of new things that they were missing in the last version or they had and needed improvement they've added with the new Final Cut Studio along with Logic Pro uh, links will be in the description this is Bobby 93 Mac boy if you like my videos make sure you rate comment and subscribe check these out leave a link uh, leave a comment in the description letting me know or letting us know if you would want Final Cut over Logic Logic over Final Cut let me know this is Bobby 93 Mac boy and I'll see you guys next time peace